Like most people, I went to Lalibela to visit its famous rock-hewn churches. These are carved from a solid rock so that they stand free, as if they've been built from bricks or some other substance. Fortunately, the rock from which they've been made, called tuff, a type of volcanic rock, is fairly soft, making it easier to carve. I gained access to the town via the rather poor road from the south. Much of the scene is dry and fairly spectacular. This is a fairly typical Lalibela street, not far from my hotel. Mm -hmm. On a guided visit to the churches next morning, I first crawled through this completely black tunnel called Hell. The large church of Bet Emmanuel illustrates very well how it's been carved freestanding from the solid rock. I would have actually been standing inside the rock. Here, prayers are being said in the open. Some people prefer the privacy of these prayer tunnels, where they might spend a week or more lying down. My guide led me through the confusing array of narrow passageways connecting the churches. Contrast this with this passage full of people, which we'll see later in this video. In this church, only the sides are freestanding. The roof is still connected to the solid rock. This is the interior. The most famous of the freestanding churches is this one, St George's. Early next morning this was full of worshippers, as you'll see later in the video. But for now there was just this single old lady taking off her shoes before entering. The only other people present were foreign tourists. I wonder how the old lady felt about that. Here we get a good view of the famous St George's Cross in the roof. And so on we went to church after church. Unfortunately I've forgotten which one was which, so I'll just give you a brief glimpse of each one. These covers indicate that these prayer tunnels are in use. Over the years, many of the churches have started to deteriorate rather badly. So UNESCO agreed to build these large but rather ugly protective metal roofs. As I just promised you, St George's next day was thronged with worshippers. Oh, God. 
Jesus, I just need to come in a minute. I wanna do a song. I got to come to the heart of the day. This is the way that we know that I'm done. Remember how I'd walked through here alone the day before? I was on the road to the airport. This lies way below the city, down in the flat plains. The flight to Addis Ababa takes about 45 minutes. By bus, it takes two days, including an overnight in a hotel. <laughs> 